the mobile home diva and in today's video i'm going to be sharing this home with you this is actually the rocky mountain this is the rocky mountain you guys it's a live oak home it's out here at wayne fryer in byron georgia and i'm super excited to show it to you let's go ahead and get inside because we are right here on the side of i-75 and so that's all the traffic that you hear and um i don't want to keep screaming so let's go inside and i'll show you this beautiful home let me go ahead and apologize because this home is not put together it's not furnished or anything this home just got here i wanted to show it to you because i don't know when i'm going to get back here wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like so keep in mind when you travel to see these homes you sometimes have to view them like this because they're not put together yet so just to give you an idea of what this home looks like uh keep that in mind as you view it okay that's the door that we just came in this is the living room nice size living room i could see this being more of a formal area you've got your linoleum cut out there carpet in on the living room floor really nice it's trimmed in this pine color um wood trim look down so you can see the uh carpet but that is the living room it does have a uh ceiling fan in it and again this is a nice size room you guys that is the living room from the living room you can see into the kitchen so i love the light color uh cabinets in here this is like one of my favorite cabinet colors if i could get could have gotten this one if i could have um gotten a home and picked the cabinet color it definitely would have been this color i absolutely love it you've got this island here in the middle this island has uh granite countertops the island looks to sit about two bar stools maybe three if they're small and you've got outlets in it and again this is the a granite countertop you've got the standard countertops around the perimeter perimeter not a huge kitchen but this kitchen is adequate like i would absolutely love this kitchen it would be enough for my husband and i so you've got uh shelving over every cabinet and you have upper cabinets and cutouts which if you guys know me you know i absolutely love that because i like to have certain pieces or decor on display you've got a window that opens over the kitchen sink you've got this two part industrial sink here absolutely love it love it love it love it now off the kitchen well let me give you one more view of the kitchen okay so this is the kitchen right here and then i'll show you the dining room in a minute let's go take a look and i'm gonna look at the floor because i need to close this door <laughs> i don't want you to see the master just yet okay off the kitchen you've got this utility room nice size utility room your back door is right here and next to the back door is your washer and dryer you've got cabinet space and you've got a bar to hang your clothes up in addition to you've got this little cubby hole over here that you could do whatever you like with you can put a desk there for crafts or paying bills you can put your uh deep freezer over there you just whatever you want to do you could just put storage over there you do have access to the master bath we'll take a look at that in a little bit but this you guys is your utility room okay nice utility room now back into the kitchen you've got your dining room here so this is your dining room space all of this space is your dining room you've got a chandelier you've got an open um it's open to the bonus room you've got this huge uh double sliding glass door that you can go out onto your deck and it's open to the kitchen they've got this uh 
kind of grayish, maybe olive color, shiplap type material on the wall. Again, that is an option. You don't have to get that, but it just adds a little texture to this room. Uh, and it's not throughout the kitchen in the dining room, so it, it just adds texture to this space. It adds a pop of color. Off the dining room, you've got this huge, huge bonus room. This room is much bigger than the living room area. So for me, as I stated, the living room would be more of a formal area, and this would be my family's hangout spot. You got space for a huge TV on either one of those walls. There's a ceiling fan in here also, and those two big windows bring in lots of natural light. So let me go down on this side and give you another view of this room into the dining room and kitchen so this would be great for entertaining too right because you whoever's in the kitchen has access to everyone in the dining room living room and the family room and you could absolutely separate the age groups right adults in one room kids in the other it gives everybody privacy and a place to a way to relax so now off of this bonus room this is one area of this huge house. So we're gonna check out some rooms down there, but first let's go in here and see what we find. So right away I see that this is a restroom, but let's look right here to the right. You have guest bedroom number one. All right, this is guest bedroom number one. It has that same trim and it has a walk-in closet. All right, so you have all this cabinet space in here. Y'all know what I'm gonna say. Bring the shelving around to maximize the space, right? From over here by the window, you have all of that space over there as your as your as this guest bedroom. So this is guest bedroom number one. Okay, guest bedroom number one. Next to the guest bedroom is a bathroom this bathroom has two sinks and a huge mirror you've got your toilet there and then behind the door you have your tub and shower combo so this is guest bath this is a guest bath and it's in between two bedrooms so guest bedroom number one here your guest bath and then over here is guest bedroom number two I could see maybe the older kids or even the younger kids sharing the space and sharing a bathroom. Really nice. And then inside of here, another walk-in closet. So these two rooms, you guys, are ident identical. Same size, same size closet, and they share this bathroom right here. So this is the first little area for bedrooms so you got two bedrooms and a bath right here and then down on this other end of the family room the bonus room you have a guest bedroom number three right here and you have a closet and this also is a walk-in closet really nice this is a little smaller than the first two bedrooms that we saw um, but it is a doable size. Really nice. So that's guest bedroom number three. Next to guest bedroom number three, you have another bathroom. So you have lots of shelving in here. You have one sink and you have your to toilet and tub shower combination in here. Sorry, there's no lights on in this house. So we just have to make do all right so now next to guest bedroom number three you have guest bedroom number four yes this is a five bedroom you guys all right guest bedroom number four we'll go over here by the window and then you have a standard closet all right and all of this is guest bedroom number four so so far we've seen four bedrooms and two bathrooms really nice 
Again, this is the family room. Behind me are two bedrooms and one bath. And in front of me are two bedrooms and one bath. So you can either put the, little, the two little kids here with their own bathroom and the two big kids or whatever your needs are. All right, back into the kitchen. Again, that is the family room and the area for guest bedrooms. We're gonna go into the living room, through the living room, and this is the master. Look at all this space in this master. Really nice master. You got two big windows, lots of space. That trim, that wood trim is also in here. All of this is master. All right, your master closet is separate. So all of this space is your master closet. Nice size master closet. My husband and I could share all of this space. Really nice. Not the biggest I've seen, but not the smallest. This is a nice size master. Really, really nice master closet. Next to the master closet, you have your master bath. It brings that ship lap in you've got a huge soaker tub your window right there and one thing i like about this one it has the blinds already up so you can keep these blinds closed or you can close them when you're using this tub or taking a shower across from the across from the tub you have two huge sinks lots of counter space love 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 and lots of cabinet and shelving in this master bath really lovely really really lovely you have this huge shower here love the uh love the shower doors these doors actually open instead of slide love the tile in here it looks like the floor look at that you guys love it love it love it love it got the rain shower shower head in there and you've got a place to sit inside this huge massive shower really nice you got a transom window in here in the toilet area it doesn't have a door but there is a wall here for privacy and then you've got storage space here so really lovely Really love it. They have any decor picks online, you guys. I'll make sure to put them all in this video so you can see it decorated. But we absolutely love the use of space in this bath. And that door leads to the back door in the laundry room. So if you don't want to keep your hamper in here, you could totally throw it in the washer or in the hamper in the utility room really nice so you guys i'm gonna get on out of here it's super hot in this house and i feel like i'm gonna pass out <laughs> hope you enjoyed this tour this uh dealership does not post prices this is the rocky mountain any decor picks that they have will be at the end of this video and any information regarding the home that i have will be down in the description box, okay? Thanks so much for watching the Mobile Home Diva.